In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can combine our iConnect MIDI 4 Plus with other audio devices on macOS and Windows to create an aggregate device. We're going to begin with macOS. First of all, start Audio MIDI Setup either from the dock at the bottom of the screen or from the Applications folder. Ensure that the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus is available to you and then create a new aggregate device by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Once you have got that, you may wish to rename it to something that you can remember. In this case, I'm going to call it ICM 4 Plus and Audio. There are no devices present at the moment. We'll need to select those from the screen on the right. We're going to select the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus as one of the devices and for this example we'll use the um, built-in output as the other device. We could use any devices as part of the aggregate that we have available. Now I have the built-in output also as part of my aggregate device. Now I'm going to set this device as the master clock for audio and then I'm going to resample each of the devices in turn which is normally required unless you have a clocked hardware audio setup. Inside your door, you may also have to choose the aggregate device, as I am doing here in Studio One Pro. On a Windows system, make sure you've downloaded ASIO for All from the website asioforall.com. Run the program, which is a simple installer. Once you've done that, that will install the ASIO for All driver. It's a very quick process and that will then be available to aggregate your Windows devices. Inside your door, you can then bring up the Options screen. In this case, I'm using Reaper. Make sure you've got the ASIO driver selected and ASIO for all. Bring up the ASIO configuration screen, making sure you've selected the Spanner to open the full set of options. And then make sure that you've got all of your devices selected. If it isn't selected, make sure you've clicked on the button. You can change the buffer size and you can also change other settings, but it's best to leave these alone unless you have a specific need. Once you've done that, you can then go and select the beginning and end device. This is the way that uh, Reaper does it. And those can be chosen from the list of options, including the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. Do that for the input channels and also do that for the output channels the beginning and the end device. Once you've done that, you can then go to your particular track and select the source and destination for the audio. In this case, you could choose the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus for stereo pairs, and you can also use the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus via mono channels as well. For output, Go to your track, add an output channel, and again you can have the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus stereo pairs or you can use the mono channels below as well. 